A very good afternoon to all our viewers. This is Lunchtime News on TV1. Before we head into our stories in detail, let's start off with a look at headlines. Deputy Minister of Law and Order says President or the Prime Minister have not instructed the IGP to step down within two weeks. Minister Malik Samaravikrama admits there was no propaganda to inform the general public on the proceedings of the FTA with Singapore. Central Bank to hold discussions on selling Sri Lankan tea as Iran has been slapped with further sanctions. Former Malaysian PM Najib Razak to face 21 money laundering charges. On to your lead story for this afternoon now, Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade Malik Samarvikrama had admitted there was no propaganda to inform the general public on the proceedings of the Sri Lanka-Singapore Free Trade Agreement. He made the admission while speaking to trade unions at a forum. I also agree that we need uh, 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 inform the public about what we are doing. That is, we need go to public, we need have any, this, uh, any propaganda on this. Now the truth about the Sri Lanka-Singapore free trade agreement has been revealed. Tune into our primetime news bulletins for a comprehensive and in-depth report on this developing story. With that, we move on to more local news. Speaking in Parliament today, Deputy Minister of Public Administration and Management and Law and Order, Nalin Bandara Jahema, said the reports on instructions given by the President or the Prime Minister to Inspector General of Police to step down within two weeks is false. He made this statement responding to a question raised by MP Kanaka Herat. Also in news from the Parliamentary Proceedings, Minister of Finance and Mass Media Mangala Samaravira said if sugar traders decide to increase the price of sugar, steps will be taken to enforce a maximum sale price. In more local news now, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka is holding a series of roundtable discussions on selling Sri Lankan tea as Iran has been slapped with further sanctions. Iran is a key buyer of Sri Lankan tea, coconuts, rubber and other agri-products. Sri Lanka's tea board chairman Lucille Vijaywardhana said 9% of Sri Lankan tea exports are to Iran and the added sanctions against Iran as well as the currency depreciation in Russia and Turkey has led to a temporary drop in demand for Sri Lankan tea. At the round table discussion, attention will be drawn towards obtaining a separate product from Iran for the tea sold to them which can be later converted into liquid cash. It is reported tea prices in Sri Lanka has gradually dropped over the recent months. Addressing an event in Thalpitiya Panadura, former president of Mahindra Raja Paksa expressed the following views. We are going to lose our country. Nothing will remain by 2020. No one was able to capture the southern province. Since they couldn't do it back then, they are now trying to capture the southern province. I now feel like I have done something wrong by constructing a port, expressways and an airport for them to sell and obtain commissions. A new leader should be appointed by 2020 even if they do not hold an election. I pray and ask all gods to let Mahindra Rajapaksa be our next leader. Finally, in local news for this afternoon, now three robbers who entered a business premises in Pampura Namatara have been arrested. Our correspondents have said the robbers have threatened the owner of the massage clinic and robbed money worth rupees 35,000. Later, the owner of the massage centre has informed the incident to the Matara police. The three suspects are due to be produced before the Matara magistrate court today. And that's a wrap of lunchtime news for this afternoon. For a comprehensive report of these stories and more, join us at 9 tonight on Primetime News on TV1. To stay updated on the latest news as and when they happen, log on to our award-winning website www.newsfirst.lk. For the News First team, I am Jamal Ratnaika. Good day.
Hello, this is Newsline. Unearthing corruption, taking democratic debate to new heights, seeking accountability and demanding responsibility. Newsline is now available in a brand new timing. Thursday, Friday, it's from 8 p.m. to 8.30 on TV1. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we remain unchanged. 7 a.m. in the morning till 7.30. Watch Newsline.